oh, what is this going to be? Looks like another of George's inventions. Hello y'all. Big Texas welcome to you. In today's project, you will need a drill, with a drill bit the same size as the tubing in our solar pump kit. A roll of masking tape. This solar pump kit and the famous Dollar Tree stackable planter. I'm using five tiers on the Dollar Tree stackables. That is as high as I could get the pump to lift the water with enough volume. I'm using a patch of masking tape on each place that I will drill a hole. I hope this will alleviate the problem with this thin plastic cracking. I'll be drilling four holes in each tier. One in the middle for a passageway for the tubing and one in the center of each pocket. I'll also drill through all the tiers at one time. Keep light pressure on the drill. Let the drill do the work. Make all the holes the same size as the tubing that came in the solar kit. This unit is multi-functional. It is a solar collector, a water pump and a timer. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. I'll need enough tubing to reach the height of the stackables and to the bottom of the reservoir. There is more than enough in the kit. This project started out as an experiment, but looks like it might lead to something bigger. Your container does not have to be this large, but it does have to be large enough and strong enough to support the size and weight of the Dollar Tree stackables. I think I'll move it to the ground level now to make it more accessible. The out tube runs to the planter. Make sure not to crimp the tube or sit something on it that would impede the flow of water. The in tube goes to the water reservoir. This line draws water into the pump. This is an on, off button only. The mode button is multifunctional. It allows you to choose twice a day or four times a day it will come on. Also, equals how long it will run. There is an LED light that advances each time you press the button. This is the pickup device. It has a weight inside to keep it on the bottom of the reservoir and a screen to filter out debris that would plug the pump. The sensor on the left should be on the bottom of the reservoir. It lets you know if the reservoir is empty and will shut down the pump. The sensor on the right should be a few inches off at bottom of the reservoir. It will beep to let you know that the reservoir has reached a low level. I'm drilling a few 1 quarter inch holes in the top of the reservoir which will allow the water to flow from the stackables back into the reservoir. 
It's another hot day here in Texas. Make sure you stay hydrated while working outside this summer. I have a container of hot water in which to place the tubing. This will soften the tubing making it easier to slide on the nipples on the pump. Now, I'll slide the sensors through one of the holes that we drill in the top of the reservoir. I'm now drilling four holes in a square about one and a half inches apart. Then I connect the dots with my pocket knife making an opening for filling the reservoir. For testing, I'm filling the reservoir about half full, or, half empty, your choice. Let's see if it worked now. I'll turn it on. There it goes. Let me tell you what I had to change. First, the holes in the pockets of the stackables were just too small. I enlarged them to the same size as the tubing. I also cut pieces of screen from a screen repair kit and placed over the holes in the pockets. I then replaced the potting mix with a coarser brand that did not plug the holes. I continued with this through five levels of tiers. I left off the sixth level to increase water flow. Problem solved. After running several cycles it continued to flow as it should. Place a T fitting, inline at the top of the fourth tier. This will supply water to the second and fourth tiers. This T fitting is supplied in the kit. Keep the fitting above the level of the soil. As you can see, each pocket has a depressed area that will hold water as does the center of the tray. Do not drill holes in these depressed areas. They contribute to the water wicking aspects of the design. We place screen over the holes in each pocket. What projects have you done with the Dollar Tree stackables? Leave a comment below. It will be interesting to see just how long Tiz Reservoir will last before needing to be refilled. Two weeks? Maybe more. Thanks a bunch for watching.